Call us on your cell phone. Call in very hot line bling. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It is that time of Wednesday morning. It's the culinary hotline. Bling, ting, ting, ting. Call us 4309881 if you want to ask Zola any questions you find difficult in the kitchen, all right? Or you want to share any ideas. But I think first on the cards this morning, this debate, it has been going around. People have been going absolutely crazy about they this. They have. Your uputu pap, ne? Who yep. yet ate it? How, you, how, how do you eat it? With amasi or with sugar? Okay. A lot of oh, people say no sugar. Lots of, yeah. okay, there's a debate going on. It's been a, a debate going on yeah. for three years and it's unsettled. Three right? years? So That's crazy. This, the one side is people who, who eat their uputu na masi, with, which is yeah. putu pap and mas, and, which and is mas, sour yeah. milk. Um, as it is traditionally, and those who add sugar to the mix as well, just okay. to sweeten it up a little bit. Let's let's read so, Nolwazi's Noel comment. Okay, so Nolwazi feels very passionate about this. She says, "I have been quietly <laughs> watching the sugar on Amasi debate, and I've concluded that the problem here is that y'all don't deserve the internet, because we all know you wouldn't try spewing the sugar blasphemy in front of your grandmother or any of the elders, in fact." So, you come and be ra radical rebels, alpha on social media about things that are well established, knowledge, and wisdom. Y'all yeah. did the same thing <laughs> with baked bean salad. <laughs> So, the question is, which third force sent you? Who is funding this assault? Also, Mina Ngyakrevana. So she says, her, she will tell on you. She'll tell the ancestors. She's going to tell the grown-ups about what you're doing on these social media streets. Kubegani, she says. She says, carry on. You guys can barely be adult now, and you think that you can revolutionize Amasi and tell us salads aren't salads. Okay. You're crazy, okay. is what she Well, saying. we have some supporters so, in the studio of No Sugar. Yo! Prosper behind the camera, he's, he's up with the hands. Okay, so, so, so what's the deal, Zola? So clearly people are very passionate about the side on which they stand. Yeah. Okay, so traditionally, you eat uputu, which is, okay. which is crumble pap, or yes. um, you know, the coarse milli meal. Yes. Um, yeah, mini meal porridge, if you will. Um, and we eat it with sour milk, which is yes. which is what we call amasi. And basically, it's just a combination of the two. So um, you put the uputu. Okay. Okay. And then you add amasi okay. to it. Okay, nice and like simple. That. I like mine quite quite runny. And you see, amasi is, is a little bit like buttermilk. Yes. But it's a little bit more lumpy, if you will. Yes. Um, and you just mix the two together. And okay. traditionally, this is how we eat it. Okay. okay? And I've been eating this... Like, for, like that. As far no, I, as, as I can remember. I've, I've never eaten it like this. In okay. fact, in fact, you know, just, you know, call me crazy, but this is the first time that I've actually come across this combination. I've come oh, across really? like tomato sauce. Oh! With this. Just, that's, just that's tomato sauce. Tomato sauce with okay. this. But, but I grew up like my dad made it. You know, mm -hmm. school mornings, you know, he made the crimmel pup. It was, it was a treat in our house. And that oh, was lovely. made with butter and sugar. Okay. And if you can, you add milk as well. Oh, okay. okay. But, but how I eat is, is mm -hmm. if I agree, because I spoil myself, it's not something you make every day. Right. Okay. Right. So, so I don't mind holding back. So it's a nice. Nice big dollop of butter in the oh, middle nice. with some sugar, but okay. then you don't mix the butter in, oh, right? You, melt. you kind of eat around the pot with the sugar, and then when you get to the buttery part, it's like oh, it's like an extra treat. It's like an extra oh, like treat, that. right? To end it off that. with, yeah. Okay. So that's pretty much it. I don't know. You can join the debate. Tell us how do you eat do your you eat putu pup? Yeah, four three zero nine double eight one. That's 021 4309881. That is the question, and it's a massive debate. And also, to well, you're going to show us how to make I'm it. I'm going to show you how to make all putu if you've never had it before. Yeah, yeah. awesome stuff. Try it out, but the culinary Hotline bling, ting, 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 ting. We'll continue in just a bit. <laughs> it's my feel good show. All right, so we're back in the kitchen. It's the culinary hotline bling, ting, ting, ting. ting, ting. ting. Right on your feel good breakfast show. Zola Nene hanging out yep. with us. And we're continuing the bait, your uputu. All right, so do you, uh, are you team with sugar or team without no sugar? sugar. Yeah. That is what we are debating. So give us a call, 021 and weigh in on the conversation. You can also do so on Facebook, right? Yep. I think before we get into some of the comments, you know, what some yeah. of the viewers are saying, let's just quickly make it. How okay, do you so, make So for people who have never bar? made uputu before, I'm sure you've made regular porridge, which is really smooth. Yeah. Uputu, as you can see, is krumel pup, so it's yeah. very crumbly. Yes, okay, so, so, so the krumel pup. <laughs> <laughs> so the ratio of a milli meal to, to water That's is obviously yeah. more milli meal, less water, okay? okay? So then you add a pinch of sugar, so it's basically like Shot, one cup. Salt. Salt. One salt, salt. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. See, I'm, sugar on the brain this one. <laughs> a little bit of salt, <laughs> just to bring out the flavor. So one cup of um, water to about three or four cups of, of milli meal. Okay. okay. So then what I do is I put it all in at once, just yeah. like that. My, and then, my dad always said you must form a little mountain. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then I use the back of the wooden spoon. Okay. Okay, just to stir it around and make sure that it's all coated. At this stage, you want to make sure that all the grains do get coated in a bit of water. Okay. Otherwise, you'll find that your mini Dry meal spots. won't <laughs> really, yeah, won't yeah. cook at all. Okay? okay. So you can see how it's absorbed the water, just like this. And I like mine quite 
Quite irregular yeah. in terms of in terms of texture so i don't like to have it too fine okay so this is perfect for me so i just stir it around for a little bit longer okay then what you want to do don't think at this stage that it's cooked it's very very raw yeah okay and you'll find that at the, at the bottom it sticks quite a lot but yeah. that's what helps develop the flavor that's okay? it it's called so the unbranchel and when you finish your your pot of putu pup and then you take that out and then you put some more butter and sugar on there oh you eat the crust and then you crunch that that bottom oh, no, that's almost like a burnt pot that, that is amazing that is a level. treat it yeah, is so, a treat so this will need to cook on very low heat so we'll turn it down to the lowest for about 30 to 45 minutes yeah. okay keep stirring it occasionally every like five or ten minutes okay and it should look, the bottom of the pot will look sort of crusty. Can you uh, see how mine, mine we've taken out like that. that? What is yours? It's, <laughs> like... it's more of a solid burn. Oh, okay. Well, you're not stirring it enough. So you can see, so you do need, it does form a crust. Yeah. So don't be scared if that happens okay. the first time you make it. Yeah. Then right. we cool it because I eat mine cold. Yeah. Um, or you can eat it hot. Okay, listen, we have a caller on the line. Good morning. Ooh. Good morning, Hello. Fina. Good morning, my dear. So, so where are you standing in terms of this debate, with or without sugar? Um, I am with you. You've got a very clever dad. Okay. You will put you and the sugar um, and the butter, but I leave out the milk. Because if you leave out the milk, it's like a pudding for breakfast. The butter melts in and mm. with the sugar, and then it's a beautiful taste. Oh, you make me so much hunger. Thank you very, very <laughs> much for your call. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so, so we got a couple of interesting ones on Twitter yes. as well. I just want to go through some of them. Um, Nuclear, Nuclear says, oh, my statement will always remain the same. Eat your putu with yogurt, because it's called sour milk for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, interesting. Kerwin says, that's I funny. could eat putu and inkumazi with 13 teaspoons of sugar every day. Wow, that's a lot of sugar. Hey, well, he's definitely on the sugar side. Definitely, way hey? on the sugar side. And we have one, one last one. Dr. Manhattan says, how is someone supposed to accept the sweetness that is your love if they can't even accept the sweetness of sugar <laughs> in putu and inkumazi? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, oh, absolutely I, love love I, love I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So, um, yeah, we're going to get into some non traditional ways to eat your porridge in the next segment. But um, let us know with your putu debate are you pro sugar or not pro sugar? Uh, do you use it just with your um, amasi or do you add a little bit of sugar? I prefer sugar, but you say you I eat, eat it both ways. I, I'm on team eat what you like, how you like. I like that. I like it. We'll be back. <laughs> It's my feel-good show. <laughs> Call us on your cell phone. Culinary Hotline Bling. That can hey, only here we go again. Day. Welcome back to it. You're treated to a feel-good breakfast show. This is Express on SABC3. And it's time for the Culinary Hotline Bling. Ting, ting, ting. ting. Oh, we've been having so much fun, man, with this. Putu pop debate, you know, <laughs> with sugar, without sugar, only with Amasi, it is crazy. Weigh in on this conversation, mm. 021-430-9881. That is what we want to know. Are you eating your, uh, your putu pop with sugar or without sugar? That is the debate. Now, we have Mrs. Naidu on the line. Good morning, Mrs. Naidu. Good morning. How are you? Lovely. Thank you very much for calling. So, so, so weigh in on this debate. How do you eat your putu pop? Okay, we make the putu like a Zola, but we eat it with fish curry. With oh, fish curry. Delish. That is interesting. I've actually never thought about trying that. Well, I mean, yes. I treat it like rice. So it makes perfect sense to, to eat it with curry, to eat it with stew. My mom makes it with like a, uh, a spiced cabbage curry as well. Okay. So yeah, so we eat it like this anytime and we eat yes. it with curry for dinner. Yeah. Awesome. Very, very cool. Thank you, Mr. Snyder, for sharing. Really appreciate that. Okay, so, bye. So bye. keep connecting with us on Facebook and Twitter and tell us where do you stand within this debate. But we might as well address um, the porridge debate as well. We might know? as well. Because if a lot of people think traditional, you know, traditional porridge, or maybe, um, you know, do you add anything other in there that's non-traditional, like peanut butter yeah. in your porridge? So right? here's, what, here's my point, right? If you're going to debate so strongly about people <laughs> adding <laughs> adding sugar to your uputinamasi, it's been a strong debate. then you're, it is a strong debate. I mean, those people who are very traditional <laughs> about it are very strong about their opinion. So I ask you, those people, when you eat ipalish, so normal, you know, breakfast porridge, the smooth meal, yeah. meal porridge, do you add peanut butter to it? Do you yeah. add other things to it? That's not very traditional, but if you'll accept no. that, why won't you accept sugar in yeah. your amasi neput? Ex exactly, exactly. Why? So, so I mean, the, the thing is, like, I, I, I eat oats with peanut butter, but that's not really right. considered the porridge, all right? Well, and normally, it is, but that's fine. No, 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 but it's not the maize meal. No, it's not the mealy meal, correct. So we're talking about the mealy meal here we for are. a second. Okay. Now, now, I normally eat a traditional, just mm -hmm. with normal butter and sugar like I would normally, but okay. sometimes, you know, to bulk it up, yeah. an egg. A fried egg on top. 
Whoa, that blew my mind. Of the pop. Yeah, wow. yeah, exactly. I mean, it's it's it's, also, it's been almost like a tradition in our family, you know, okay. especially from the fun sale side, how I grew up as well, you know, to really bulk up your meal in the morning, as okay. it's called like a, a fried a egg fried on top. Egg. Do that, they do that in China, actually, funny enough. Oh, really? Yeah, well, they put now. fried egg on top of their, their porridge, their rice porridge in no, the morning. No, look now. Um, what I do st strangely, which people will think is strange, to my porridge is I sometimes add orange concentrate. Let me explain before you Whoa. judge me. Before you judge me, Whoa. let me explain. When I was younger, my mom used Whoa. to squeeze fresh orange juice onto our porridge. If we didn't have oranges, she'd let us put orange concentrate because she wanted to keep us happy. That and that's what weird. you do for your children. That is weird. <laughs> that is weird. Okay, anyway, so listen, um, we've got some awesome comments. Um, Cause Doxy says, lol, you guys were going crazy over me eating wheat bix with avo. That's but y'all add sugar to Amasi and Putu. I, I don't know. I've never tried wheat bix with Avo. That is a very strange combination. Oh my goodness. That is a very strange own. one. And then uh, Nurgud also says, this gourmet Putu with pink salt and a spoon of sugar for the tingly sour milk. So that's pink how, salt, that's fancy. Pink salt, you know, it's fancy. a bit of a fancy one. Yeah, so, so let us know, man, when it comes to also porridge, I mean, do you eat it uh, traditional? Do you add anything weird mm. in there, like like orange <laughs> essence or what, what, what not or whatever? Or do you just keep it traditional? But weigh in on this debate, it really is a lot of fun. We will have one more segment. Call us 021-430-9881. <laughs> Ah, oh, very cute, man. So very, very sweet yeah. indeed. But we're back for the very last time in the Expresso Kitchen is the culinary hotline bling. Ting, ting, ting. 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 Thank you for getting involved. We've been having a whole lot of fun, you know. Now, now, here's the thing. Some some people eat their putu uh, pop with sugar and mm -hmm. uh, others, Zola, put orange concentrate on it, <laughs> no. which is very, very weird. So right now, we are talking about weird breakfast combinations. Mm. Okay, what is your weirdest breakfast combination? Give us a call, 0214309881. We'd love to hear from you. Right, let's uh, have Prosper on the line. Good morning, Prosper. Morning, how's it? Good, good, morning. good, good, good. What's up, man? Uh, I have a comment specifically to Zola. Zola, yes. hi. Hello. Zola, firstly, you don't take Amasi with sugar. It's uncultured. <laughs> the ancestors... <laughs> The ancestors will totally reject you. You will <laughs> never see the gates of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The ancestors are fine with me, thanks. Zola, you will not no, pass no, through no, the no, gates no. of heaven. <laughs> Thank you, Prosper. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Prosper. Listen, Prosper, I think that the ancestors are fine with me. Also, today, at this oh, very moment, goodness. my parents are driving to Zululand just to talk to them for me. Wow. That's wow. That's what's happening. Okay. It's very late. It's very late to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this debate is heating up. But, but we are talking about weird breakfast combinations. Let us know, 0214309881. Listen, we had a question quickly. Um, Fahima Vali says, hi, uh, hello, Expresso family. Hello, hello, Fahima. How do I get my milk tart filling to not taste eggish? I mm. make the milk tart using 12 eggs and one litre milk. Oh. It has a lovely texture and a base, but the kiddies are not fond of its egg taste. Okay, so if, you, if your ratios are that, you know, that many eggs, it's going to taste eggish. But to try and reduce the amount of egg, you've got to cook out the eggs. So you know how we, we heat the milk? Yeah. You, you sort of mix together your flour and all your, your corn flour with some milk. Let me okay. just do that quickly. So we heated some of the milk. Okay. Um, this recipe is actually Angie's recipe and she adds custard powder to hers. So that will also help you lessen the amount of eggs that you put into okay. yours. Okay. Uh, the recipe is on the website, just so you know. A bit of sugar as well. Heat the milk, like we said. And then this recipe only uses one egg. So then um, okay. you'll definitely not have any egginess. So this yeah. is some hot milk that we heated up with some um, with a cinnamon, cinnamon stick. stick. Yeah. So whisk that all together. Then you add this back to the pot and you uh, whisk it up or stir it until it's thickened, basically. Right. Then what you do is, here's your egg yolk. This is the only egg we're adding to it. So this is some custard that's already thickened. You add the egg yolk to that and then you whip up the egg, the egg whites. whites. Yeah? Okay. And then you fold that in. Okay, and all of this won't taste eggy because we're still going to bake this milk tart filling. Ah, okay. okay, so you're going to pop this into the, the crust and then bake it again. So basically to reduce the amount of egginess in yours, try a recipe that doesn't have that many eggs in it. Okay. Yeah, so Perfect. this is a great one and you can get it on the website. Well, thank you. That was a, that was a nice shift of attention it from was. our pretty yeah. popped yeah. and baked. <laughs> well, that's it. That's where we have for you. Thank you very much for all of those of you who called in and shared some of your ideas in terms of how you eat your putu pop. But the, yep. I think the debate still stands. It still stands. I don't think stands. we're going to reach a conclusion. No, I think that unfortunately. People, people feel strongly whichever side, but my, yeah. I strongly say that you must eat what makes you happy how you like to eat it, okay? Exactly. Do there that. we have it. That was the culinary hotline bling. <laughs> ting, ting, ting. ting. ting.